and I'm joined now by the Liverpool captain Virgil van Dijk and goalkeeper Cuevin Kelleher. Guys, what a shift, but you've done it. You are the winners. How does it feel? Amazing. <laughs> um, tough final, like expected. Um, obviously, they created chances. We had good chances. We had an amazing goalkeeper today that saved us many times. And um, overall, obviously, a final is, is to win. And we did that. So we are very pleased and proud for that. Cuevin, you played such a huge part in this final today. Nine saves you made. How did you manage to stay so focused in a game like this here at Wembley? Um, yeah, obviously, I think it's... I knew Chelsea were going to have chances today. And I'd, I'd need to make some saves to help the team. And thankfully, I was able to do that. Yeah, I think the main focus for me was try to keep a clean sheet along with the rest of the defence. And I felt if we did that, we'd have a good chance of winning. Virgil, whose idea was it when you went up to the Royal Box to get Jurgen to do it with you? I wanted him to do it with me. Um, so, yeah, that was yeah, nothing special, but I wanted him to be with, with me there. And uh, I'm glad I did. Everyone has to uh, enjoy and cherish these this moments and uh, don't take it for granted. Jürgen, congratulations in your final season at Liverpool. Does this trophy feel extra special? Nothing to do with my final season, nothing. Didn't think about that today one second. It was super touching, super emotional. After 20 odd years, you think you saw everything, something like that I never saw before. Never saw a team fighting as hard. And I've never saw a team fighting the, the odds, the, the world as much as we did today everything was against us we we didn't have a, we have so many injury problems crazy injury problems coming here today final top opponent and then you have 120 minutes and you 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 see you have to change again because the, the boys on the pitch were just knackered and then you have a look and you see okay we have legs fresh legs they are just very young and it's no problem to bring them i'm pretty sure a lot of people thought um OK, that's it now, Liverpool, when they all came on and they probably had to Google the names. Uh, but it was not the idea. The idea was to bring fresh legs and to let them play. And that's what they did. And I couldn't be more proud of what I saw. They also have great leaders to look up to and learn off in this team. I want to ask you about Virgil van Dijk because we spoke to him a moment ago and he told us that he asked you to go up to the Royal Box and lift that trophy with yeah, him. Yeah, 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 he did. That's I a did nice touch. It. it is, it is. Like, come on, there's, there's no, nobody has to doubt our relationship over the years. Yeah, there's a proper bromance that I have to a lot of my <laughs> players, but it's uh, also necessary, but nice. Anyway, so uh, I'm, I'm not so much in a trophy lifting thing. I like, I do it because people want me to do it, but I don't have to touch it. I love much more to watch other people have it having it. And finally, when the fans here at Wembley all at once sang You'll Never Walk Alone with all of you there, an emotional moment. Are you going to miss moments like that? No. But like I said, I, 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 this club will not be the last time in the final. And, and it was maybe my perspective will be a, a different, but I have no problem with that. Um, it's not about that. We write a wonderful book and still writing and writing and writing. We'll see how many chapters we still have to, um, to, to, to write. But it's not about that. Let me close it, put it in the shelf, and then this club goes again 100%. So, yes, it was very emotional, very touching, but not because it might be my last, my last game at Wembley. I couldn't be bothered about that, to be honest. And it's just about, it's so wonderful what happened here tonight. And um, I loved each second of it. Well, I think always difficult when you lose a final because you don't have the chances again, uh, you know? Uh, because it's one, one game and it's about to, to win. Uh, we lost in the last, uh, the last minute of the, of the game and uh, it's so painful. Um, but now uh, we only we need to take the positive things. We wanted to keep going. We need to push and to use this type of game to to learn and, and be better. And I think uh, only be positive uh, because I think we really compete um, in some period of the game. I think we deserve more. But uh, if you don't score with the chances that we have, uh, I think five or six big chances when you don't score and it's difficult to win the final. But to arrive to the final and, and be here, I think, was a good achievement for the, for the team. But uh, the problem is when you arrive to the final, it's about to win the final. And that is why we are frustrated. But we need to keep going. The, the team is very young and we need to try next next time.